How to Train a Cat. Cats are incredibly independent creatures. In fact, researchers have found that even though humans have kept cats as pets for at least 9,000 years, house cats are only semi-domesticated. Training a cat can be difficult, because it can require the trainer to convince the cat that the task at hand is a worthwhile skill to learn. But with a little patience, you can train your cat to be a better pet in more ways than one. Training a cat to use a litter box. Put the litter box in a quiet location. Cats prefer to relieve themselves in a peaceful location without a lot of action or loud noises in the background. However, cats also do not like having a litter box that is too far out of the way. Make sure your cat can physically access his litter box. Do not put the box on a high shelf or an otherwise difficult to reach area if your cat is old and has trouble jumping or climbing. Avoid noisy or high traffic areas. Do not place a litter box next to a washing machine, for example, or in a crowded hallway that gets a lot of foot traffic. Cats want peace and privacy, but they also want convenience. Do not put your cat's litter box in close proximity to its food and water dishes. This may discourage your cat from using the litter box. Place your cat in his litter box shortly after meals. You may also want to place your cat in his box shortly after he wakes up and after playing, as all of these are times most cats will want to excrete wastes. Putting your cat into the litter box during times he will likely need to relieve himself, such as after eating a meal or when he's just woken up, may help remind him to use the litter box every time he needs to go. Keep a clean litter box. Cats will not want to use a litter box if it is dirty, and may resort to urinating or defecating around the house. Wear rubber gloves while handling cat feces to reduce the risk of contracting toxoplasmosis. Note 6 Greater than scoop out solid waste and clumps of urine soaked litter every day. Wash your hands thoroughly after handling soiled cat litter, even if you wore gloves. Do a thorough cleaning once a week. This entails dumping out old litter, washing the litter box with a mild detergent, thoroughly rinsing the soap away, drying the box completely, and pouring in a fresh layer of litter. You should only add about 2 to 3 inches 5 to 7 centimeters of litter when refilling the box. Wear rubber gloves while handling cat feces to reduce the risk of contracting toxoplasmosis. Scoop out solid waste and clumps of urine-soaked litter every day. Wash your hands thoroughly after handling soiled cat litter, even if you wore gloves. Do a thorough cleaning once a week. This entails dumping out old litter, washing the litter box with a mild detergent, thoroughly rinsing the soap away, drying the box completely, and pouring in a fresh layer of litter. You should only add about 2 to 3 inches 5 to 7 centimeters of litter when refilling the box. Use a litter your cat will enjoy. There are many different types of cat litter, made from a variety of different materials. The most important factor is finding a litter that your cat will want to use. Most cats prefer clumping, unscented litter. However, your cat may prefer something different, especially if he was adopted and grew accustomed to something in his former home. See what your cat responds to and adjust accordingly. The most common types of cat litter are clay litter, clumping litter, crystal, silica gel litter, and biodegradable litter. Switch litters gradually, rather than abruptly, to minimize the shock and confusion to your cat. Mix a small amount of the new litter in with your cat's existing litter every day over the course of 3 to 5 days. If you change litters gradually, your cat should nt notice a difference. If your cat continuously relieves himself in a potted plant, he may prefer using soil instead of litter. This can be especially problematic in cats that used to live outdoors. Try lining your cat's litter box with potting soil, and see if he uses it. The most common types of cat litter are clay litter, clumping litter, crystal, silica gel litter, and biodegradable litter. Switch litters gradually, rather than abruptly, to minimize the shock and confusion to your cat. Mix a small amount of the new litter in with your cat's existing litter every day over the course of 3 to 5 days. If you change litters gradually, your cat should nt notice a difference. If your cat continuously relieves himself in a potted plant, he may prefer using soil instead of litter. This can be especially problematic in cats that used to live outdoors. Try lining your cat's litter box with potting soil, and see if he uses it. Reward your cat for using the litter box. Give him praise immediately after he has finished using the litter box. This will build positive habits and teach him that that is where he should be relieving himself. Do not punish your cat for accidents outside the litter box. Negative reinforcement will not work, and may actually create a litter box avoidance problem in your cat. 
If your cat eliminates his waste outside the litter box, it's important to immediately wash that surface with an odor neutralizing enzymatic cleaner. Point five class equals reference aria label equals link to reference 15 greater than if your cat can smell his urine on the carpet, he might begin to associate that spot or that texture with going to the bathroom. If your cat passes solid waste outside the litter box, pick it up with a paper towel or gloves and place it in the litter box. This will give your cat scent-based cues to use the litter box next time. Try making unwanted elimination areas less desirable to your cat. If he has a part of the house that he tends to relieve himself in instead of using his litter box, leave tin foil or double-sided tape on the floor in that spot to discourage him from going there. If your cat eliminates his waste outside the litter box, it's important to immediately wash that surface with an odor-neutralizing enzymatic cleaner. If your cat can smell his urine on the carpet, he might begin to associate that spot or that texture with going to the bathroom. If your cat passes solid waste outside the litter box, pick it up with a paper towel or gloves and place it in the litter box. This will give your cat scent-based cues to use the litter box next time. Try making unwanted elimination areas less desirable to your cat. If he has a part of the house that he tends to relieve himself in instead of using his litter box, leave tin foil or double-sided tape on the floor in that spot to discourage him from going there. Try confinement training as a last resort. If your cat has a strong aversion to using his litter box and nothing else has worked, temporarily confining him in a single room with the litter box could instill an understanding in him to use the litter box. This should only be used as a last resort, when nothing else has worked. Do not confine your cat to a small room for extended periods of time. It is cruel to lock your cat up over long periods of time. Make sure your cat has food, water, and his bed in the room with the litter box. Keep the litter box on the opposite side of the room as the food, water, and bed. If he poops on the floor, scoop it up and put it in the tray to give him a scent mark to return to. If your cat is absolutely sold on a substrate, such as soil or carpet, and refuses to use the tray, then put that substrate in the tray. If necessary, purchase multiple pieces of carpet off cut and put it in the tray. Once the cat uses the tray with carpet in it, start to sprinkle cat litter over the carpet in the tray, to give the cat the idea. Replace sodden carpet with fresh in the tray. This should only be used as a last resort, when nothing else has worked, do not confine your cat to a small room for extended periods of time. It is cruel to lock your cat up over long periods of time, make sure your cat has food, water, and his bed in the room with the litter box. Keep the litter box on the opposite side of the room as the food, water, and bed. If he poops on the floor, scoop it up and put it in the tray to give him a scent mark to return to. If your cat is absolutely sold on a substrate, such as soil or carpet, and refuses to use the tray, then put that substrate in the tray. If necessary, purchase multiple pieces of carpet off cut and put it in the tray. Once the cat uses the tray with carpet in it, start to sprinkle cat litter over the carpet in the tray, to give the cat the idea. Replace sodden carpet with fresh in the tray.